Hey everybody, I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV and behind me is the Taximantis. Now this is the Overland version. That usually is white, but as you can see, not always. There's so many great things about this trailer. The biggest thing, 3,500 pounds, sleeps four, and it is designed to get off the grid, get out there in the wilderness, have all the basics, be comfortable, and wow. You're gonna be amazed at how they design some things in here if you've never seen a Mantis. It is NASA inspired. I don't know, let's stop talking. Let's go inside and take a look. Wow, stepping inside. I'm only five feet tall, but this is over seven foot right here. Tons of room. All right, you've got bunks in the front or a sofa. This is a unique design. If you sit down right here, you think, okay, they put a nice little seating area in the front. But this is a bunk that could suit most adults a swivel table on the lagoon base so it can move around and this flips right up to make a bunk. So you can have two bunks right up here, kids, adults, whatever you need. I also like the fact that with this lagoon table, it makes a very nice workspace. I know we try to get away, but sometimes you have to pull up that computer, that laptop, and try to figure out what's happening at work. Take care of a few things, easy to do right here. You could also pull it up and kind of make a standing desk out of it if you needed that, because it is adjustable not only in height, but swiveling around to different locations. Underneath that, I don't know, one of my favorites, it has this small portable toilet. Now the toilet is in a little box here so it doesn't look like it's out there in the way. You just lift the top up to reach the toilet or you can slide it out of the way and fold this down and it is the base of your shower. Now look at that, you've got the hot and cold and of course a curtain that hangs from the hooks on the roof to come down and give you the privacy and contain the water. Just so nice. Like I said, this is one of the most versatile campers out there. And I'm gonna slide this back out of the way. Of course, all these spaces can be made to do whatever you want to do. You notice this birch wood, it is a plywood that's been treated. So there's nothing fancy here, nothing that you can rub against and really damage. Uh, it's composite walls, uh, formica, uh, laminated countertops. You've got your heavy duty switches right over here for all the lights and some 12 volt plug-ins. Over here, all of the controls right on the front, including the Truma water heater and hot water. And yes, what you're looking at is milk crates. Why? These milk crates are gonna be so versatile. Not only can you take them outside, hose them off if they get dirty or something spills, but you could carry things to your table if you're cooking maybe on a picnic bench over to a different area of the campsite. You have all kinds of choices when all it is is a milk crate that just pulls out and goes to whatever location you need. Now you've got the sink right here, fold up faucet, and the stove right next to it with the uh, nice iron grill on the top. Up above that, there are some storage spaces here. Let me pull that down. Uh, this one has the, the shelf area on the top and then the cabinet underneath. You can see so much of this has bungee cords and attachments. There may be more things you wanna just slide in here, hold in place, or attach on the roof. This is a powder coated steel construction. And why is there holes everywhere? Well, of course, you may have gear you need to tie up. Whether you're tying it up on the ceiling, on the side, you can hook things everywhere. LED lights in the top, tough to show you now because it's so bright. The canvas opens on all four sides and nice netting so you get a great cross breeze. Super easy to pull this up and down and latch it with these two hooks right here. 
just a great setup. It's about four foot 10 on the inside when it's closed. But if you're in severe cold weather and you wanna warm it up in here, just close that top. You can sit down comfortably in here, stay nice and toasty. Let's keep going because in the back, we've got a dinette that folds down into another sleeping area. So right here on the end of this kitchen area, you've got three milk crates that are stacked up here with the bungee cord across the front to hold them in. So practical, right? The AC pushes outside, of course, so it can vent better. Um, but when you're traveling, you just slide it inside, click it into place, and you've got a smooth side of the trailer heading down the road. Over here, you not only have this nice countertop, more crates underneath, trash can on the end. Now you wanna be sure, especially if you're camping in the wilderness, to take everything back with you. Don't leave a trace. So a nice large trash can in a trailer like this is really helpful. Right next to it, you see a platform and you've got hooks on the side. This is great to carry a cooler. Now the Truma C44 is the one that is really big, fits here. A lot of people use that one. It doesn't come with the trailer, so you can use whatever it is that you have. You'll wanna use these hooks and the handles to tie it down so it doesn't move during travel. There is a 12 volt plug right behind that trash can there. So you plug it in, you keep everything cold. The table in this dinette moves around and it also is a nice Formica uh, piece of plywood, drops right down in here if you take the pole out and then you can make the bed. The back over there folds out to take up this space and it's meant to be kind of a U-shaped dinette but it's very versatile. You'll notice there's a panel here on the end and if you fold that cushion over, it sits right on top you could make a U-shaped dinette if you have lots of people to sit at the table, or you could take this out completely and have just a long straight dinette here. One of the best things about this trailer, you've got these two windows that open completely and a huge hatch that opens. So this trailer is like being in a giant screen room. Really versatile there, especially with the coin floor. It is a rubber coin floor that, you know, gets muddy. Just wipe it down and keep going. Let's look at the windows really quick. They have the acrylic windows that not only have the screen pulling up from the bottom, but you also have the blackout shades so you can cover up every window and every opening. You know, if you needed to close this, you've also got a window right on the back of the hatch. If you're outside though, it's a nice awning if it's sprinkling. All right, we're gonna walk through the outside because there's more things to see out there. Let's go. The outside of a Mantis is these composite panels that are mounted on a powder coated steel frame probably a little different than you're used to seeing in a standard travel trailer, right? In the Overland version, you have a lock and roll hitch because that allows your trailer to go on uneven terrain without twisting the coupler. Two five gallon, 20 pound tanks here for LP. And you've got stabilizer jacks on all four corners. Great if you are on uneven terrain. On the side is the Truma vent right here. Now that is for hot water and heat. Next to that, your city water inlet. Now what that means is that if you hook up a hose here, turn on the hydrant, that is going to go directly to the faucet. If you wanted to fill the 20 gallon fresh water tank, you would do that in a different location. This is the plug-in here for your uh, trailer. If you're used to the long 30 amp plug-in that goes directly to shore power, it is a little bit different with this Mantis because many people who use this Mantis will not be in a campground. They provide a shorter, much more compact cord. It has a 30 amp plug and it's only about two feet long and has the connection for a standard uh, extension cord. Just makes it easier to travel, less cumbersome. If you need to plug in, you certainly can. Right up here in the top, hot and cold outside shower. Now there is a plug-in coil with a shower head. You wanted to set up an outside shower tent, that works beautifully. 
Very common to have a portable solar panel with this unit. The portable solar panel is gonna go outside in the sun, you can park in the shade, and it's gonna keep your batteries charged. You can hold two batteries in this unit. They are underneath the bench seat up there. The batteries come from the dealer. Normally they only put one in, so you might wanna ask about that. There is space for two. The Overland Edition contains the 16-inch tires, the off-road tires, aluminum wheels, ready to go where you wanna go. One of the great things about the Overland Edition is that it has the Timbron axleless suspension. That not only is gonna work really well on rough terrain, but it's gonna give you 14 inches of ground clearance. That's really cool. And at the AC, once you push it in like I showed you earlier, just close that cover. It's gonna protect it going down the road. There is a 20 gallon fresh water tank. Great if you're going off grid, right? So that can be filled right here. And there is a 22 gallon gray tank. The, the dump for that is right here on my right, underneath, easy access. Let's move to the back of the trailer. This is where the hatch opens. It's really nice to be able to air out this trailer on all sides. There are uh, hangers here if you want to add your own jerry cans. Of course, you can bungee them in. If you are going off grid, you might want to carry extra fresh water, maybe some fuel for something, uh, whatever you need. So underneath is a step because you might want to access the Thule racks on the top. They're a full 76 inch width, so they go the full width of the trailer. And so many people put a rooftop tent up there. If you need to sleep more, you could easily fit a three person rooftop tent in addition to the four sleeping down here. You know, that's great fun for families to go camping. Your spare is easily located right here on the back. The two windows that open on the side, again, I love the fact that this trailer opens up all the way around huge cross breeze. You also have the awning up here in case you're parked somewhere that doesn't have any trees and you need some shade. Now, if you haven't caught on by now, this is only six foot nine when it's folded down, so it can go in your garage, 19 feet long. Wow, 3,500 pounds. This may be the right mix of comfort and off-grid amenities that you've been looking for. I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV. Let us know what questions you have and I'll see you next time.